Hello and welcome to Dishing Delights. My name is Jenica and today I am going to share with you two delicious fall desserts. Let's get to it. The first dessert we are going to make is a delicious pumpkin cake. All right, I have room temperature eggs. So I have four eggs. So there I have my eggs. Now I'm going to do one and two thirds cup of sugar. It's a whole lot of sugar. One cup of canola oil, is that right? Jeez, okay. Now part of me wants to substitute this for applesauce, but I'm gonna do it this way and then maybe we'll make a healthier version next time. I know that when I was a nanny, we substituted applesauce with oil all the time. All right, there's one cup of canola oil and then one can of pumpkin. This is a 15 ounce can of pumpkin. Okay, this looks dangerous. We're gonna add this to a little bit bigger of a bowl. See, this is why I don't bake. <laughs> Too many steps. All right, we are going to mix this until blended. And then we are going to add our flour, cinnamon, baking powder, baking soda, all that jazz. I need to get an actual KitchenAid ASAP. Right here, I'm adding two cups of flour. I have flour everywhere. Now I need two teaspoons of cinnamon. Two teaspoons of baking powder. One teaspoon of baking soda and one teaspoon of salt. Never forget your salt in your desserts. I'm gonna get a secondary camera so you can see how much of a mess I make every time I'm filming. <laughs> Cause you can't see it when there's only one camera angle. All right, now this mixture, I'm gonna slowly add it into the wet mixture. Okay, slowly, where's that cup? That's what I'll do. I'm gonna take my beaters off. So I have the oven preheated to 350 degrees. Look at my phone right now. All right. Now I have a baking dish that's greased up. Oh, this smells amazing. Wow, these smell just like pumpkin bars. These are going into the oven at 350 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes. Ooh. Doesn't that look amazing? I'm going to check the center with a knife. Okay, I'm gonna put it in for five more minutes and then it should be finished. Well, amazing. You weren't recording for a bit. 
to this. We're gonna make the icing now. It says six ounces of cream cheese. So I'm just gonna add all eight ounces. Then I'm just gonna take a quarter of it out and put it in a little dish. And then a quarter cup of butter. And this butter is already softened. Now I have the strainer that I use for everything. I'm going to add two cups of powdered sugar. And I'm just gonna make sure it's sifted through. All right, that's pretty much all right. Now to this, I'm also gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And two tablespoons of milk. And then I'm gonna slowly mix this together by hand before I break out the mixer because that thing is dangerous. I'm going to add a little bit more milk. So about a full two tablespoons, maybe a little bit more. Just to get it to the right consistency. Perfect, I'm gonna set that aside. All right, now I'm going to add that icing right on top of the pumpkin bars. Well, it's actually like pumpkin cake because I made it in a little bit smaller of a pan. But I actually like that because with pumpkin bars, there's just too much icing. Like, I honestly could go for this without icing, but aesthetics. All right, I actually like it that it doesn't have icing in those corners, because I'm going to claim those pieces. But this is the delicious pumpkin bars or pumpkin cake. This little Ozark Trails camping spatula, I use this way too much. Yum! I mean, that looks so delicious. Mmm! It tastes delicious. And that is the delicious pumpkin cake. Yum! The second dessert we are going to make is a delicious apple crisp. I am going to take these apples cut them up and we're gonna make an apple crisp. I used to love, when I was little, my mom would make like an apple pie or something and I would just sit there and eat the peels. <laughs> now this is just some lemon water. Oh, oven's ready and I'm not even like close to ready for it. All right, I'm going to listen to a podcast and I'll speed this up for you. All right, I got my apples cut up. These are heart. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these apples, drain them a bit. I just wanna make sure six apples is enough. You know what, I'm gonna add the other two apples, hold on. I'm going by a recipe that says six apples, but I'm also gonna just like do my own thing. To these apples, I'm just gonna take a couple tablespoons of sugar. It says one and three quarters teaspoon of lemon juice, so I'll add that. And then it says one and three quarters teaspoon of cinnamon.
That looks perfect. So now I am going to take one cup of light brown sugar and I just made this last week. But all it is is sugar and molasses. It's super simple. I highly recommend just making your own brown sugar. And like you'll see right here that the molasses wasn't mixed thoroughly. Just like pinch it with your fingers. It's fine. It's food. It does not need to be perfect. Three quarters cups of oats. These are old fashioned oats. That's all I use. This burn mark right here shows up really prominent on camera, but it's kind of light in, in real life. Is that what it's called? <laughs> and then I'm also going to add in three quarters cup. I'm also adding in three quarters cup of flour. And then a half a cup of cold butter. I'm just gonna dice this into cubes. That's just one stick. My knife skills are atrocious. You know, I actually started my YouTube channel in, I think it was March. Well, my plan was to start it in March, but on my second video, because I wanted to pre-film like four videos, on my second video, <laughs> I chopped the tip of my finger off, but I could not watch that video back, so I just scrapped it. I'm gonna add a pinch of salt in here. If you're binge watching my videos, I got a challenge for you. Why don't you take a shot every time I have to get a different size dish? <laughs> so ridiculous. It says to make sure they get to pea size pieces. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, you know what? We're just gonna call that good. <laughs> Cause I am making a mess and I have so much to do today. I can't be cleaning for seven hours. Ugh, can't wait to clean that. All right. I'm just going to, I'm just going to spread this all over. I'm just gonna take some oats and add it to the top. I'm also just gonna take a little bit of brown sugar Now I'm going to bake this at 350 for 40 to 50 minutes. All right, this has been going for 40 minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the top off of this and then let it go for the other 10 minutes. All right, let's look at this apple crisp. Oh, that looks delicious. So this is the apple crisp. Now I am just going to cover it and I'll serve it when it's warm. So right here I have my apple crisp. All right. Ooh. Oh my goodness. That looks Amazing. 
And then I'm going to add that scoop of ice cream. And that is going to be my late night snack. I am so excited for this. I'm not a huge dessert person, but if it's baked apples, like apple pie or apple crumble or anything like that, that's my jam. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, and make sure your notification bells are turned on. That way you get notified when I upload my next video. Thank you so much for watching.